So I'm Jan von Tetzner, I'm CEO of Opera Software. Uh, we make web browsers and today we're just launching Opera Mini 5.0 Beta 1. Excellent, so tell me a little bit about that. Well, it's a, it's a, this is a very major release. I mean, Mini 5 is the most used browser on mobile phones today for accessing the internet. And in this update, we've actually taken the browser to the next level. I mean, it's not the kind of thing you would expect in a normal mobile phone, but now you have, you have tab browsing, you have a very visually slick user interface, you have speed dial. It's a very rich browser experience that will work in any phone, more or less. So what are some of the limitations today uh, in mobile browsing? Well, I think most mobile browsers are not really made to actually get on the internet at all. I mean, they're made to, to go for limited content. So our focus has been getting the real internet into any phone. And also, speed-wise, I mean, Mini is streets ahead when it comes to speed. We compress the data, typically 80% up to 90%. So even if you're on normal internet connection, mobile internet connection, it still goes at the speed that it feels good and you can actually browse the internet in a pleasant way. So is there a server required on the other end to make that happen? Yeah, Mini is a client server solution. So we actually run the full Opera browser as you have on the desktop and as you can get for mobile phones on the server side. And then we have Opera Mini, the, the small client, it's about 200 kilobytes, the resides on your phone, the two talk and you get a very effective browsing experience. So basically you're just sending down the, the change, the delta and the pixels to make it happen? Well, we're sending over a specialized format that we optimized for this particular user experience. Okay, and so what's next for the company? Well, our goal is always to, to, to bring the, everything forward and we've been doing quite a lot of things also on the desktop side. On the desktop side, we just launched Opera 10 and we've been talking about technologies like Opera Unite, which I personally believe is going to change the way we use the internet. How? Well, up until now, I mean, people are focusing on, on, on the cloud. Everything is moving into the cloud. We're thinking, what comes after the cloud? There's always something after. <laughs> and what comes after the cloud is basically that every machine has a server and a client. And that's what we're having with, with uh, Opera Unite, that inside the browser we put a, a tiny little server that can serve content to you and your friends. So for example, you can stream music from your PC at home to your mobile phone. You can share photos straight from your PC that you have uh, at home to all your friends. I mean, there's just a lot of functionality they can do with this new technology. It's changing the, the way the internet works and maybe in some ways bringing the internet back to where it used to be. Where, I mean, the internet is built to be fragmented. That you have all these different computers. If one goes down, the system still holds. And Unite is doing just that, but now every computer is part of the, the network. So does the browser become more operating system-like? Not so much focus on the operating system, but, but more it becomes a server in, in addition to being a client. So but that allows it tremendous functionality, which is more which which allows it to do things that a traditional browser couldn't yeah, do. Yeah, I mean no other browser could do this. So this is this is thinking out of the box, which is something we've always been doing, thinking about what can we do next. And people know that we have a lot of innovation that we come through throughout the years on mobile, on devices, on desktops. And now this is a, probably the biggest thing we've come, come forward with. But we also think it is the next natural step for the internet as we know it. And how do you think users will benefit from that other than being able to download from a mobile device? Are there other things they'll be able to do, you think? Well, I mean, this is about... I mean, anything ranging from home automation, if all your devices are now service, you can then actually connect them together and get them to work as a whole. And all your devices and all your friends, instead, if you want to share something, like say, I want to share some photos with you. I want to share this video, maybe. And what happens now is that you, you take the photos, you then have to connect it to your computer, then you put it in the cloud, and eventually you tell your friends, I put my photos and my videos somewhere in the cloud. Now what if you could just say, okay, you can go straight to my phone or to my PC. My stuff is there. That's the address. Go straight there. And it just works. I mean, there's a lot of steps that just go away, which makes it a lot easier for everyone. So it's the simplification of computing and, and web browsing. Simplification of, uh, I think, a lot of services, a lot of things that are very difficult today will like be very easy. Media sharing, right? Your media, media sharing, very easy. All of this is peer-to-peer. That's excellent. So uh, when can we expect some of these uh, new things to come out? 
Well, this is now the focus is on the desktop version. The desktop version will be coming out as soon as it's ready. That's the normal answer. And then you'll move it into mobile devices and anything else in there. Thank you so much. I appreciate you being on the program.